It's just like, it's just like a mini mall, 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 mall. Bright flashing by the street lights. Keep waiting till you've arrived. Let it unfold. Let it unfold. Give me a reason to feel right. I keep waiting for the morning light. I let him fall. Let Welcome back to another episode of the Urbex Dead Mall series. Boy, do we have a good one for you today. This is the Chesterfield Mall in Chesterfield, Missouri. For everyone that's not familiar with the malls in the St. Louis metro area, the Chesterfield Mall is actually the sister mall to the infamous Jamestown Mall that sits abandoned on the other side of town in Florescent, Missouri. I did document the Jamestown Mall in its abandoned state, and I made a video on it, but I took it down for some specific reasons. Eventually one day I'll re-upload it, or I may even just make it a Patreon-only thing. 
When I first visited this mall, I had no idea that this was the sister mall to Jamestown. But when I was doing my research, I discovered that fact. And then I started looking at the architecture and was like, yeah, I can kind of see a lot of the similarities between the two malls. Although this mall is two levels and Jamestown is only one. This mall is in sharp decline, and it's really sad because even though it's kind of bland, it is a really nice looking mall. But I want you to count exactly how many stores you see throughout this video that are actually open because there aren't very many. Chesterfield Mall would open in 1976 with a Sears and Sticks Bear Fuller as its two anchors. In 1981, the mall would gain a four screen cinema, although it would not be attached to the mall itself. 1984 would see the Sticks Bear and Fuller being rebranded as a Dillard's. And in 1995, a Famous Bar would be the latest anchor to join the mall. When the Famous Bar would close down at the mall, a J.C. Penney would take over the space. In 1996, the mall would receive a renovation, hoping to rejuvenate the place. And then the 2000s came around and things got real rocky. The detached four-screen cinema would close in 2005 as well as the J.C. Penney store, which was then demolished and made way for smaller shops and restaurants, including Borders, which is currently the V-Stock, the Cheesecake Factory, and an American Girl store that closed in 2018. Okay, so this is really weird, since when have you ever seen a mall do this? I mean, tennis courts inside the mall? I mean, I guess when your business is poor, you get kind of desperate to draw people in. And on a rainy, cold, or snowy day, I mean, who wouldn't want to come inside for that? So I guess I have to give the mall credit for being innovative and trying to get more people into the mall that will hopefully stop by some of the stores that are left, bringing in more revenue. This is the main center court, and there used to be an amazing carousel here. If I can find some photos or video, I'll insert them. This ceiling is also amazing with all the skylights. This is what made me say, oh yeah, this mall does remind me of Jamestown. From all the research I did, the first mention of the AMC Theater, which resides currently in the mall, was 2018, but it had to have been in the mall before that. Because doing even more research says that in 2018, the AMC Cinema was downgraded to an AMC Classic, which would mean that it had to have been in the mall prior to 2018, right? So leave a comment down below um, if you have any information on when the AMC actually came into the mall. Now, of course, like most malls, the pandemic would not be kind to them, especially this mall, because it was already struggling. And when the pandemic hit, it accelerated. Everything just got really bad, really fast. At the time I visited Chesterfield Mall, the only remaining anchor was Macy's. But it was recently announced that in 2022, in the fall, that the Macy's would be closing and moving to the nearby Chesterfield Commons. And of course, by the time you're watching this, the Macy's will probably have already been permanently closed and the mall doomed. Because we all know a mall without anchors doesn't really draw in the crowds.
So what is the future for the Chesterfield Mall? Well, it doesn't look really good, and it looks to be very short-lived. There is news circulating around, and right now I'm going to say rumors because a lot of times news outlets will report on malls being turned into something else, and then they never materialize. But um, as of now, they're saying that in 2023, the mall is going to be demolished and turned into downtown Chesterfield. That just sounds really, really weird, like demolishing a mall in order to build the downtown center of your city. I don't know about that. Doesn't sound like that's probably going to happen, but if it does, that'll be very unique and awesome to see. I really do wish I could have seen Chesterfield Mall in its heyday and at its prime, but unfortunately this is another case of being just way over mauled because there are several other malls in the vicinity, such as the Mid-Rivers Mall, which I filmed on my trip to St. Louis, along with the Chesterfield Mall, Jamestown Mall, and many others. So who knows, will they actually get up the money to demolish this mall in 2023? Or will it just sit abandoned, vacant, and shuttered for who knows how long, falling apart? And will they really actually turn it into the new downtown Chesterfield? I guess only time will tell. Well, that's going to do it here at the Chesterfield Mall in Chesterfield, Missouri. If you like this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. It'll really help out the channel as well as subscribing. I can check my analytics and tell that most of my viewers are not subscribed. So please do and hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified about future uploads on this channel and all of my others. If you want exclusive content, you can check out the Patreon link down below in the description box. Thank you everyone and I'll see you in the next video.